Good afternoon, everybody. It is March 11th, I do believe, today. It's a balmy 9. It's flirting between 9 and 10 degrees Celsius outside. It's muddy. Uh, we got water pooling in the fields. We really don't have any snow to melt. Um, the fields are pretty bare. We're at the South Farm. Clearly, there's no snow left. We didn't really have much snow anyway, but unlike Saskatoon, uh, a week or so ago, got pounded with a blizzard. They got like, remember when I was saying there was supposed to be like 20 or 40 centimeters or something coming? Yeah, we got like, not very much. Ha! You can clearly tell. So spring has sprung down here at the South Farm. Uh, last year this time, last year, March 11th, I'm gonna insert a video, if I can actually remember to insert the video, uh, of Brian in the 9.30 as we were uh, pushing snow, as we had a lot of winter last year, a lot of snow last year, which also made us for a really late seed in our, in our, sorry about the wind. Late seed to us down here. It's March 11th, we got a pretty good snowstorm down here at the South Farm. Brian's in his 9.30 with his blower. It's still quite windy and it's still quite snowy, that's the reason why you can't see nothing. Just about zero visibility in places still. Now that you saw that, totally different. Like, holy cow. Like, we better get our butts in gear. <laughs> Ready or not. The roads, these gravel roads are incredibly soft. So I guess the uh, winter, winter weights for our semis are now off or will be off. They're gonna knock us down the road bands now which is the reason why we wanted to get all of our fertilizer in. We wanted to get all of our uh, um, grain hauled because now it's just focus on seeding, focus on spring. That's the plan. We're still working on drills. We're, gonna, we're, we're always working on drills until we're actually in the field. And then even when we're in the field, we're still working on drills, so. We're always working on drills. Some water pool in there as you can see. More water pooling on both sides of the road. This road is just so soft right now. Okay, that beeper is just annoying. Fixed it. This is a gravel road. This is a super grid, guys. You would not know it. Just the frost is coming out of the ground. That's what's happening. All right. Yard is still uh, pretty sloppy yet. It's gonna be a little while before our yard dries up. And when it does, we're gonna wing the drills back down and we're just gonna keep pounding bushings out I, everyone's done we're actually just on our last drill over here this is our last one to do so we're working on that and we are uh, working on combines we finished cleaning seed that's the cleaner right there they're uh, cleaning it out and they're gonna park it it's a little bench cleaner I've showed you guys that little bench cleaner before um, so yeah things are actually coming together Seeds cleaned, furts in, grains hauled. We didn't have much to haul down here, but it's hauled. All the drills, bushings are done except for this one. They're working on this one. Um, we got a little bit of 
Um, tinkering to do to the drill still. Change a couple points. What else? Hmm. There's probably other things I'm not thinking about, but we'll do a little tour here. I got distracted. It's now supper time. Um, like I said, this is the second drill that they're working on right now. The first one's done. So what they do is they first take off all the packer wheel assemblies. And on these, uh, we, just, we, we just changed all these bearings last year. And we put new bolts in. And on the last drill we just did, we had to put these new bolts in. But these ones actually look like they're in pretty dang good shape. What happens is they wear out because, you know, it's going like this all the time. Yes, this keeper pin is in there. Uh, but you remember the seating videos last year where the uh, this is actually moving up and down. And yes, this is an old system. This Borgo has since updated it. Borgo used to offer a, um, a subsidized. You could update it and they'd pay a certain amount of cost to help you update your drill. That has long since passed because we apparently missed that window. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, yeah, they're gonna pop these pins out and they gotta do the bushings So that is the deal on that We'll do some holes we'll do some mainframe bearings and We might change these bolts actually we, we did on the last one because again I just said we put these ones in here last year but these are not a Borgo bolt. We just went to Fastenal and apparently that was a mistake because the threads actually go inside here just a little bit. And then it actually wears the threads down a little bit and creates a little bit of slop where if you get the Borgo bolt, it's full head all the way outside to here and then the threads makes a big difference. Because then all of a sudden it gets sloppy in there. So I think now that I've just reminded myself, I'm just gonna get a bunch of new bolts from Borgo and we're just going to change those right now while we have all these off. We didn't know. Hindsight 2020. And this one we did the banders and the points and everything last year. We'll just adjust these scrapers. We got a, a mid row banders. That's what these are. They're a high maintenance unit. So there's we'll just adjust this because we wore the blade down a little bit, but we can easily get another year out of here points we can get one more year out remember last year we ran out of time we just changed all the mainframe hose and then this furred hose and we ran out of time to do this little section so we'll do this little section this time <laughs> otherwise guys I'm stoked to put these red machines to the test and um, see how well they pull I did get confirmation that the 715 is supposed to be a July build now. We don't have a serial number yet, but again, I'll get to try these for seeding. See how I like them. And we can make that judgment call while we're seeding. All right, guys, I'm going to catch you on the flipper. Maybe we'll go see if there's any water flowing anywhere yet. I know, we're just literally going back to the same similar areas where we started the video. Um, this is obviously supper time now, later in the day. More water is pooling, the road is not getting any better. So to put this, try to compare a little bit to last year. Obviously you saw we had a lot of snow, but I think it's important to note that that snow melted pretty dang fast and pretty much all ran off last year. We had a big run, um, all the dugouts filled, which was awesome because they were all empty. This year, it's soaking in a lot more. It's melting slower, there, uh, there's not as much snow. And we've actually had, I don't know, I guess we've had a little bit of snow over the winter and then it melted down because of course it got warm. Remember we were, we were having some 10, 15, 15 degree days in January. So then that melted and then we got a little more and it melted again. So this is still a little different year than last year, which is awesome. Oh, now our road's better. I'm just gonna scoot 
down the road here. I'm pretty optimistic about this year. I'm hoping that we're not going to have four years of drought. I'm hoping that she's going to snap now. And uh, we, I think we've got more subsoil moisture this year than we did last year. Even though we had all that snow. In my personal opinion, anyway. running wouldn't you know it let was just jump out I was here earlier this morning and uh, that wasn't really there it's pooling anyway no it's running hokey dinah here I'll zoom in so you guys can see it it's barely running but it's still running I would think by morning this might have a little more run. Though remember last year she was running full. I think I did a video on it last year if you scroll all the way back. Because I remember going out here and standing on this culvert. Similar to this year. And they were running pretty much plump full last year. And they ran for a long time. This is good news. Spring has sprung guys. Spring is sprung. Let's get this show on the road, shall we? I love seeds. It's my favorite time of the year. I'll catch you guys on the flipper. Adios, amigos.